Hello and welcome to Cheese video number 3. And this is going to be first air bomber spam on Fields of Isis. Fields of Isis has a lot of middle mass and um, usually both ACUs go there like quite early. Um, either after building factory and like a few power generators and or mixes or directly after the factory pretty much. And um, the rest is like a modified hydro rush and you're trying to make use of this uh, mass by building lots of engineers and power generators um, before you go there with your ICU um, in your base and um, you're putting that into mass extractor upgrades pretty much. So that's the meta and um, the build order I'm going to be using is a breaking meta. Like I'm playing knowing that they won't build many units at the beginning, knowing that they will send their commander here. Um, I do something that's going to uh, to pressure the enemy quickly. And uh, the plan is to make them unable to use this middle mass. And basically, I let them get it, but I won't let them use it. So here's how this is going to work out. I queued up the first air bomber first build order, um, which is using one power generator, air factory, and then two more power generators. Um, in this particular replay, I queued up four power generators. This is because this was um, a few patches ago before the bomber changes. So back then the bomber was uh, cheaper in mass cost, uh, which made it possible to build one uh, power generator more and uh, get the mass extractors later. But in the current patch environment, I would recommend to build uh, one power generator, air factory, two power generators, you have four mixes, another power generator, three more power generators, land factory. You can already tell that the rest of the build order, after you have this uh, air factory with the four pigeons and some mixes, is basically inverted uh, second air, right? Um, it works the same way, you build, like with the three extra power generators you would, uh, you would build for your air factory if you went second air, but instead you build the land factory, right? Because you started with the air factory. Okay, so here goes the bomber. And um, you can tell that, like, when I said bomber spam, I meant it. Um, I'm building just three engineers, and two are going to capture, like, the hydro and these two nexus, maybe this one, and the other is going to capture this stuff. And um, the engineers over here will later build more factories. So, uh, you know my plan. Um, I want to prevent the enemy from using the middle mass. But uh, how am I going to do it? Well, um, let's take a look at the bases. I kind of know what they look like because I know the map, but um, generally you have some hydro engineers, just like I'm going to have soon, and these are going to be the first target for bombing. And the hydro is going to complete, can't prevent that, because like you just have time to get it before the first bomb arrives, right? But I can kill the engineers building these extractors, I can uh, kill these engineers, and when he has no engineers and the commander is going here, then he is just one factory that is capable of producing either anti air to counter the bomber or engineers. And both of these options are going to get me exactly what I want, because if he builds engineers, I keep bombing him. And if he builds uh, anti air, I just fly away, because he can't build engineers and anti air. So if he builds anti air, he won't be able to have any engineers anymore from coming from that factory. And I can just harass his ally, right? And the way this build order I'm using works is um, like it's designed so I can get the first bomber, um, just enough engineers to not stall before the next bomber. And ideally, I would just queue up bombers on infinite, but that's not going to work out, right? Like, I have to get some engineers to expand. So, two engineers would make me stall because the next bomber would be too early. That's why I built three engineers. Three engineers are also useful for like this uh, land factory spam that's going to go up there. Okay, so let's take a look at his layout again. Uh, he has two engineers right now. No, just one engineer left. And an anti-air. Two anti-air now. So he pulled off an engineer dodge, which is good. Right? Didn't kill this. And um, I think I'm coming back for this engineer. With my bomber, yeah, I think I am. But I fly over the anti-air and realize, ooh, that's bad. We need to get out of there. And 
Well, this engineer is going to build makes makes probably some pigeons or factories, right? This engineer makes makes probably some pigeons or factories, right? So he has power, right? He needs to have power because he has the hydro and no maxes and no engineers, right? So he has power, uh, but he doesn't have mass. So I have some sort of lead on him, right? Um, I know that he can't put the mass he's got into mass destructor upgrades and uh, he cannot use the engineers for building more factories because he needs to uh, arrive at the center first and um, he needs to rebuild engineers and pigeons um, if he wants to scale up his build, right? So all factors considered, the thing he's going to have the least in the end when this is done is tanks, right? Because why would he build tanks? I'm going first air against him, he needs to have anti-air, needs to save his engineers and he needs to try to scale up his base and not fall behind in the eco battle, right? I don't think he knows that I'm sending absolutely nothing, not even an engineer, to this reclaim field. So um, he's probably, like I don't even know what he's expecting, but he's certainly not building tanks right now because he simply can't afford it. He needs to do other things to counter the bomber stuff. He needs to get air eventually and uh, he needs to keep his engineers safe, right? Okay, so, like, I just keep bombing the stuff, and I get a bomber every, what was it, every 25 seconds. So, this has changed in the current patch, right? In the current patch, I get a bomber every 40 seconds, and it's also going to be 50% more expensive, right? 50% higher build time, 50% more expensive in mass cost. But that's okay, because... Um, you could probably get away with building one power generator less, which saves some mass again in the current environment because the factory produces uh, at a like slower pace, right? Um, you only consume 50, uh, 60 power per second as opposed to 90 in the current, like in, in this like outdated patch, right? And the bombers are more expensive, that's true. The bombers also take longer to build, that's also true. But the bombers also drop 50% more bombs when you don't micro them. That's how they change the bombers, right? And for this reason, you can still do it in the current uh, patch environment. And if you don't trust the bombers, you can simply like switch one of your land factories into, uh, into RT or engineers or labs for that matter and uh, build a transport and load a ghetto and it will have the same effect. Like, or like a drop, right? If you want an RT drop, you can hit power generators if you want a ghetto, you hit some uh, engineers, and if you want to um, drop engineers yourself, you can reclaim or convert the factories and or the hydro, and, or even build PD, right? All of that is quite strong. So you can use a modified version of this build for the current patch environment still, with the minor modifications I mentioned. And here is how this build gets the kill. Um, as I already discussed, he is going to have everything except land units, right? He has anti-air, he has engineers, he has mass upgrades from the center mass I gave him, but I gave it to him late and he didn't have an, like all that much build power and power to make use of it. So he's not going to put that middle mass into tanks. He's going to put it into mass extractor upgrades, which in, turns mean, uh, in turn means that he doesn't have any tanks. And this first air build order is is kind of a trick right like i keep them so busy that they aren't scouting me like they are scouting now you can see there is a scout plane coming but that's like super late right they simply didn't have the chance to do it quicker because of all the bombers and uh, because they had to dodge and rebuild and make anti-air and stuff right couching bombers is not always trivial and usually you should also micro the anti-air so Lots of stuff going on that early in the game, and um, he's certainly not thinking about hardcore land spam. But since on ISIS you have like quite a lot of rock reclaim and stuff, which you can get, like one of these engineers should probably be reclaiming rocks instead of assisting here or building power. But um, like you can tell, there is some sort of land spam for me, and. Now we can fast forward because the rest is just like keep harassing the bombers. And what I'm going to show you next is is this, right? So I don't have that much tanks. I have like eight tanks, right? Not a lot. 
But, you can see it's going to be enough. Um, I can, like, try some stop micro to evade some projectiles, and so far he has only killed scouts. Right, I kept my tank safe. Still eight tanks, right? Lost one now, but... Uh, this is where it happens, right? I keep my tanks at maximum range using an attack order. Not ideal, I switch to move and stop order later. So I can get more shots on him. And my ACU is tanking on the fire of his ACU and dealing some extra damage. So, this situation, each two tanks, or like three tanks deal 120 damage, so... Um, this is 300 damage. Right? Like... Yeah, that's 300 damage. And the ACU is 400 damage, so... This situation is pretty much as if I would attack his ACU with four ACUs. Right? In terms of damage and tankiness, because my tanks won't ever get hit. He can't attack them, because I'm staying out of range. My ACU's taking all the damage, and again, this is as if you played, let's say, whatever, Gap of Rohan, and you sent your single ACU against four enemy ACU's in the center, and a battle like this ends quickly. And this is enabled by the tank micro, where you stay out of his gun range, and uh, I uh, simply tank the damage with my ACU. And this is where this game is over, because my bombers hit him early on. My ally, well, making T2PD in a turret position is not exactly obvious in uh, this particular, you know, situation of the game. Rather rush the TML quicker, I suppose. But, um, yeah, still the TML is going to deliver some damage, and uh, we are going to kill him with, with land spam and air later. So this guy doesn't have a chance anymore against the two of us. And, like, I spent some of my eco harassing him, as well as his ally, but, like, he is set back, I am set back, but my green ally could essentially AFK eco for the entire game, without being contested. So, this game ends now. And since it desyncs, like, no point in showing it, but there is some, like, drop going on later on, the TML is dealing damage, and we kill his ACU eventually. So... I hope you enjoyed the bomber spam and uh, the transition into into land spam. Um, this strategy is like mainly enabled by by micro, as you can tell. Like bomber micro is an uh, important factor. Like you need to hit all the engineers and make sure the bomber doesn't goof off and does something else. You um, need to hit like groups of power generators, and I would say in the current patch environment, it's even harder to pull off since. Um, like hover bombing these pigeons wouldn't be possible. Instead you would have to zigzag uh, before bombing or fly small curves. Like the bomber micro changed, it became more difficult, but the bomber didn't become worse, right? It is just more difficult to do, but you can still do it. And as I mentioned, you can also go for drops. Drop engineers, drop labs, drop RT and get the same result as the bombers if you don't trust your bomber micro. Make sure that your three engineers are, like, either reclaiming or building factories, because that's what you're going to need the most. And you may want to have, like, this Hydra can probably, like, power these four factories, maybe five, and get, like, a little bit of extra power if you need more factories, or ask your ally for power. But essentially, make sure that you just don't stall, and I'm stalling super hard because I'm grabbing reclaim here and g getting, like, gun or something, but, like... In the early part of the game I didn't stall, or only very slightly. And make sure that um, like you manage this transition into land units. And when the ACU is here grabbing reclaim, um, you can send your own ACU with your tanks. Use Aeon, or like use the artillery of any fashion, um, if you don't want to use Aeon tanks. And make sure that your units are always um, out of his gun range, so that your ACU tanks the fire and your units deal the damage. That's the idea. So, hope you enjoyed this and good luck pulling it off.